what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i'm toby and on this channel i share my journey to building wealth with topics related to personal finance real estate investing career in tech and much more don't forget to subscribe to this channel share my video and all that fun stuff i'm a real estate investor i recently got my first investment property which is a triplex and in today's video i'm going to be sharing different ways you can actually invest in real estate with as little as a dollar before i dive in i just wanted to share why you should be aware of different ways to invest in real estate because when you're buying a home you're essentially locking up your capital and a lot of your money becomes less liquid because it's locked in and you just don't have that money for other investments or emergencies which is why it's important to know your goals before you actually buy a house and know the different ways you can invest in real estate to determine if locking up a lot of your um, capital in one property is the best strategy for you the first real estate investing method i'm going to be highlighting today is real estate investment trusts real estate investment trusts or REITs is one way you can get into real estate without direct ownership of a physical property REITs are the stock market version of real estate and they allow you to invest in a portfolio of income producing properties the one key thing to know is that they provide diversification because they actually invest your money across a portfolio of properties or even different property types These are highly liquid because you can buy and sell them just like stocks so this doesn't tie up your money as traditional buy and hold properties do so i know a lot of people go into real estate investing like buying the traditional or buying a physical property because they want to get rental income one thing to know about REITs is that they're required by law to distribute a significant portion of their income to the portfolio holders so if you buy a REITs fund you would actually get dividends on a monthly basis i've personally been investing in REITs for a while now i mainly invest in REITs that own um, a lot of like shopping complexes so it's always nice when i drive by or like going to a shopping complex and i see the name of the complex REITs offer a low barrier to entry as you can buy shares through a brokerage account like you do for your stocks you can buy a share of a REITs with less than fifty dollars one of the top REITs in canada is going for like i think twenty dollars per share or something along that line but if you're an investor that values liquidity or flexibility then i highly recommend REITs for you if you're looking to start your real estate investing journey with REITs you can consider a platform like wealth simple to review a variety of REITs i have a wealth simple referral link you can check my bio for the link and use it to kickstart your journey in real estate investing via REITs. The second method I'm going to be highlighting today is real estate crowdfunding. This is an approach where a group of investors pull their money together to invest in a specific property or a real estate project. So it just allows you to have that opportunity that you may not have access to if you are investing as an individual. This allows you to also diversify your real estate portfolio across different projects. So there might be a project in Alberta, for example, another project in Ontario, another project in the States. And it just reduces your risk compared to investing all of your capital in one single property. You have to keep in mind that due diligence is highly critical with this approach, you need to understand the project, know the sponsors, and trust the platform that is facilitating this before committing your funds into a crowdfunding project. I personally haven't used real estate crowdfunding myself, but there is a popular Canadian platform called Addy. I haven't personally used it, but I'm just sharing this if there's anyone interested in real estate crowdfunding. This is a popular platform. I'm not recommending it because I personally haven't used it, but their site says that you can invest in projects with at, as little as one dollar so that is very interesting and remember for real estate crowdfunding you need to actually do your due diligence and understand the projects the third method i'm highlighting is the traditional buy and hold investment strategy which is what i recently did so this is where you invest a lot of your capital into a property you can buy multi units you can buy single units whatever you want this definitely involves tying down your cap capital for an extended period of time 
um, with the hopes of gaining rental income or even like the property appreciating over time. This particular strategy is like having your own mini business because you're a landlord, but you can get property management to like ease the stress if you want to. But there are definitely cons to this and there are a lot of people that do not want to be landlords. But you can get a property manager, but still, even if you have a property manager, there's still the responsibility that comes with owning a property. It definitely comes with more headache compared to the first two I highlighted because you need to get a mortgage, you need to have your finances in order, all these other ones where you're, for example, even with rates, you just need to open a brokerage account and you can literally buy your rates from your bed. But when it comes to buying a property, get a lot of things are going to place. You need to visit the property, you might need to get a realtor, um, get your mortgage approved. Even that process alone can be a lengthy one and it's a very involved process compared to like the first two real estate investing methods that I highlighted. So this particular one has its pros and its cons. If you're interested in investing in real estate via this method, then you can go to realtor.ca or Remax if you're based in Canada. Those are top two platforms that you can use to search for real estate properties or physical properties to actually buy. Number four is house hacking. This is the best approach for people who are looking to invest in real estate by minimizing their living expenses. So what is house hacking? House hacking involves purchasing a multi-unit. This could be a duplex or a triplex that has different entrances. The end goal would be you living in one single unit and renting out the other units. In most cases, these other units will actually cover your own rent. So the would pay for your living expense and they might be able to still generate positive cash flow for you so generating income i said this is an excellent choice for first-time home buyers or first-time investors with limited capital when it comes to the capital for investing in this you can actually qualify for as little as five percent down since this will be your principal residence you'll be living in this so you can find a multi unit for example 400k 500k if you're based in canada and you can um, live in one of the units as your principal residence, which would actually allow you to qualify for 5% down as your um, down payment. So the last one I'll be highlighting today is vacation rentals and short-term rentals. And this has gained popularity with platforms like Airbnb. Vacation rentals can generate way higher income compared to the regular traditional buy and hold properties where you're just renting out one unit to long-term tenants. It requires a lot more hands-on management if you have a vacation rental and there are definitely seasons for it. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to be talking about flipping, real estate development, partnerships, wholesaling and all of that because those are for more seasoned investors and I just want to keep this video for beginners, people who are new to real estate investing. In conclusion, the five that I mentioned are some of the many ways you can invest in real estate. Each of them have their unique advantages and disadvantages. You need to know what you want, your long-term goal and what works for you. Please let me know in the comment section if you found this video helpful so I'll film more real estate content. But please don't forget to smash the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, share this video, leave comments and all that for stuff. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!